all right guys i'm welcome to this video so and i want to believe watching this video right now actually means that you want to be sure about uh the printing cost update on amazon okay so because it has been on everyone's dashboard this right here okay why not required you may choose to update your price list which is the printing cost we change on june 28th okay and i'm recording this video now as uh, this is june 18 so that means in today's time the uh, a lot of changes will be made to our book pricing okay so which is the pricing uh, segment or section on amazon kdp so now you can update your list prices at any time individually on the pricing tab or until june 19 2023 okay now you can run a one-time book list update which i will not advise you to do that on your life paperback and add cover so what does this mean if you're in the lifetime a one-time book list press of the just you're simply asking amazon to do this for you now i don't know the result of this because if the minimum price you know of course the minimum which you can set a book should cover the normal uh book pricing okay uh, sorry should cover the printing cost so if the minimum is about 3.85 dollars and you're asking them to run a to run an automatic one-time update what they will just do is and this is the book list update that is all the books you have in your bookshelf you're asking amazon to work on all the paperbacks for you so the thing is that once you ask them to do this they may not meet up to what you have in mind if you're supposed to price your book probably maybe at the end of the day you should be earning about five dollars in one paper bag i will show you how to calculate that at the end of this uh, right in this video so that's why you need to keep watching so if you're supposed to make at least five dollars and right here you're asking amazon to do a book list price update you may end up making one dollars or two dollars why because they don't know what you have in mind you've asked them just to do a kind of an ai work for you an automation kind of work for you okay so that is it. They will just top it with a little price above the minimum. So far, it covers the new printing cost. Okay. So I've seen a lot of people complaining. They don't know what this is all about. They've been having issues. They don't understand the grammar. So this video right here is for you. So before we get started, if this is your first time coming across this channel, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to this channel. And last but not the least consider turning on the notification bell so that you can get notified when i drop my subsequent helpful videos and you want to learn more about amazon kdp just play around the channel go to the playlist you see the amazon kdp mastery and find a suitable video okay for your world and if you do not find what you're looking for you can just make a comment right under this video or any of my videos if you want any related you know if you want me to make a video on a particular uh, module in the kdp business model you can just make a comment then we'll see how we can actually bring that to life for you okay so let's get started so this is it if i were you the first thing i need to understand is um how much in fact how does it work how does paperback calculation works for instance kindle is not that really bad okay like kindle is not bad i will just okay let me quickly show you how kindle pricing works so let me open this book now let's say i want to edit this very book right here i want to edit this book now this is the kindle version right so this is the kindle version so i'll just come here i will click this um this ellipse okay so the three dots i will just click this three dots i will go to um edit ebook pricing which happens to be the number three option here now see something else you see that while selecting a royalty plan and setting your kindle ebook list prices below you are going for the 70 percent 70 percent simply means that 
if your book is 2.99 dollars you're earning the 70 percent that is number one secondly the delivery don't forget kindle you know they get kindle with their mobile device or also with a kindle device as well they get to read your books without having to print them there's no paperback version of a book that is there's no pdf version of a book they're reading it on the kindle version right on the kindle version that is they're reading it on the mobile device okay so they don't mm, go out to print your books all they need to do is just buy the book if they're purchasing the kindle version if they want to use the device if you want to if your uh if anyone purchases your book they want to make use of their device then they actually buy the kindle version of the book because they want to read directly probably some of them may not have the money to print or you know not everyone actually likes holding a book while some people they prefer to go ahead to print the book that's why some of them will go for the paperback version amazon will print it and amazon will ship everything to them so that's why amazon will charge you for the printing cost okay but let's not talk about paperback yet all right so for the kindle Amazon says delivery. If you click this delivery, or you can see delivery here. All right. So we click delivery. You see that the seventy percent royalty plan has delivery fees based on the file size of the Kindle book. So that means your file size determines this. Okay. Why the thirty-five percent royalty plan does not charge does not charge delivery fees for complete information on delivery fees. Visit our pricing page you may want to do that to learn more but this video covers everything you need to learn all right at least 80 percent of what you may want to read on because i've studied everything mine is just bringing it you know trying to summarize everything and explain what you need to understand okay so for this if i'm any if i price my book now you can see my book file size after conversion is 0 0.17 mb now i believe that the delivery fee should be different because they said your book and file size is dependent on this. Sorry, oh, uh, your delivery fee is actually dependent on your book five, uh, your book file size. So that's why when you are going for the seventy percent royalty plan, if you are choosing seventy percent, which of course that's what you need to go for, they will charge you for that. But if you are coming for thirty five percent, they won't charge you. And of course, from the thirty five percent, it's you know. It's actually a trash already. Are you getting the point now? It's a trash. As you can see, after going through the delivery, if if it's supposed to be, since it is 2.9, 0.00 here, yeah, under delivery means they won't charge for delivery fee, which is, you know, the, which is for the 35%. Uh, you can see a line here. Okay? So you can see a kind of divider there. Now, 0.03, because you went for 70 percent your royalty will be 2.07 so why would i go for 70 percent if at the end what i'm earning is still even higher than going for the five percent because if you now go to your go to your calculator when you say 2.99 dollars multiply by 35 percent 35 percent imagine 1.0465 so can you see so if you want to approximate everything all right if you want to approximate everything you know 1.046 is more than five all right you can just truncate the last five six is more than five then bringing it up adding that six to that four you have 1.05 okay for those who do calculation you understand what i'm trying to say there all right, oh, sorry, that's what I'm trying to do there. So that's about that. Now, come for come to 70 percent. Now, when if since I price my book at 2.99, multiply by 70 percent, that is 2.093, right? And Amazon is charging me 0 0.03 to deliver this book, all right, because of the file size that is 0 0.03. Then I will now say minus 0 0.03. That is 2.06. That's why I'm having 2.07 there. Okay. So they will just, you know, they will just approximated everything for you. They valued it up to be 2.07. So that's the approximation from 
Amazon themselves. But using your calculator, you get to see that what you actually have here is 2.063. So it's actually very closed. You see, it's still within the, the range. Do you get the point now? So, so let's go ahead. Now, we now understood how pricing works when it comes to Kindle. So that's why you always have to leave your book at the 70%. So that is how price works with Kindle. So let me go back and let's focus on um, the primary purpose of this video. So now, I know you said um, about the printing cost update. So let's quickly learn about what this update is all about. Okay, so let's quickly learn about the update. Let's know how we can, uh, you know, indulge in some calculations and let's see how it works. Of course, I'm done. I've gone through everything. I will just be summarizing everything to you now. So on June 20th, 2023, 12 a.m., okay, so we are making changes to printing cost. Trust me, the change itself is not even just about, I think, 15% changes. The less side it goes. Depending on the marketplaces, though, please note, depending on the marketplaces, or the marketplace, rather, as a result, the minimum list uh, price for your print books, paperback, and ad cover will change. Why? Because, you know, even they themselves, they've come across that the kind of things that you know, kind of hard, you know, things are costly now, printing, you know, printing, um, uh, printing materials are costly, so that's why they are actually changing the price, do you get, me? so that they will have to make their own money from it, while you also make your own money, so that's why they have, you know, they've actually been, you know, emphasizing on you, making changes, or in a one-time book update, all right, so like, this morning now, I have to make a change to this very book. As you can see, I just did make a change to this. I changed my price to $11.99. So that at the end of the day, I should be earning about 4 point something or, or $5. Because why would you publish a book? And you won't even understand the pricing. At the end of the day, you don't see a paperback of $8.99. You are seeing something like $2.99 or $2 or $3. So you kept wondering, why is this? Why is it? Because you actually do not understand the factors behind the pricing, you know, behind pricing when it comes to Amazon Kindle Publishing. So that's about that. Now, these are the content. So now, printing cost changes and timeline. How are printing cost changes? Well, what I would just advise you to do is you can come here to read more about this, okay? You can come here. To read everything i won't be going through all of this i will just uh what i need to do now is just i want to open the printing cost calculation uh sorry the royalty calculator okay because amazon has helped you they've actually developed a calculator that will help you calculate you know to to know how you're being charged so that <laughs> if you initially price your paperback at eight point nine dollars, at six point nine dollars, at seven. Please, you need to update it immediately after watching this video. Do manual update, okay? So that was about that. So I will just go ahead uh, to to check. I will just go ahead now to make the calculations, okay? I will just go ahead to make the calculations. Now, here is the printing or uh, the paperback printing cost for paperback. You will see something like black ink paperback, which is the normal, you no know, black color book. Note black ink paperback within 24, of course, you know, high content books actually start from 24 pages, not all like the short books. Short books are within the you know, short book, the maximum number of pages for short book is 23 pages, that's the maximum number of pages. For short books, why I content books you're starting from 24 pages before we can say this book belongs to the I content category, okay? So 24 to 108 pages only incur the fixed cost, okay? Before 28th of June, what we have there was all trim sizes, then fixed cost per book, and 
per page cost. So as you can see, for Amazon.com, the initial price was 2.15. Now the new price, okay. So let's see the new price here. As you can see, we have two different tabs here. All right. Can you see that we have two different tabs? So you need to follow up. This is effective from June. Why this one is before? Sorry. So why this one is before June 28th? This one is effective from June 28th. Okay. So let's go ahead. As you can see now, under Amazon.com, which is 2.1 USD, if you come here, you see that the new price now will be 2.30 USD. Okay. So that's how it is. And if your book is between from 110 pages to 828 pages, that's the book. I'm very sure all our books actually fall between this range. But if your book is beyond 108, then you know how much Amazon will charge you for this. Okay? So let's go ahead and make use of the calculator. So this one is if you have, if your, if your, Publishing a high content books with color, maybe different colors. You want them to print it out in color, then you have to face all of this. So let's continue, and that's how it works. And the same thing here for the ad cover printing cost. We have for ad cover here as well. If you're working on ad cover, come here to check the previous price. Of course, we've been seeing that before publishing, and also this is the new price. Okay, so this is the new, these are the new prices here effective from june 28 which is in two days time from when i'm recording this video now so that's about that okay so you can go through all the previous and new ones there but at the same time you will still see them right in your dashboard but you know for uh you know uh for the sake of article those who want to learn they can actually come here to read everything okay so i will go to that calculator which i opened now so here's the calculator Alright, so here's the calculator. Now note, this calculator printing cost depends on which Amazon marketplace your paperback or ad copy was ordered from. Do you get now? If it is from the US marketplace, you will see there just the same way you've seen how it is there. If they are purchasing your book from UK, the printing cost is the new printing cost will be facing from 28th of June will be 1.93. If it is USD, if your book was purchased from Amazon.com marketplace, it will be 2.30 printing cost. If it is Australia, it will be 4.74 AUD. Okay, Australian dollars. So that is how it is. Okay, so that's how it works. So that is why they said it depends on which Amazon marketplace. So that's why you need to make sure that you have your books you know properly priced do you get properly priced so the book type if i do the same thing for book type you can actually switch it to ad cover okay so we uh, for paperback you can switch to ad cover uh, to ad cover if you want to do calculation for ad cover but in this video i want to be focusing on paperback so you can replicate the same thing for ad cover interior here is white and black with white paper that is the same thing you did while uploading but if you have something different probably premium color or cream paper then you select that the trim size of course it is in inches okay and the book of course it is six by nine yes now if your own is not six by nine because normally if you're setting your page from google docs we normally go for six by nine okay but if you have something you know if not six by nine, probably if you go for statement which is five by eight, you can select five by eight. Okay, but one of my books there because I'm making so one of my books to do this, which is this very book here. Okay, as you can see, this book now, this life paperback, which is set to I priced this book at 7.99, which is not going to favor me. So I'm making the same price update right in this video. Now you can see that. 7.99 so i'm i'm doing this now so i'm gonna uh, check this 7.99 so the book is six by nine and yes of course dot com dot com marketplace 
page count um this is where it gets interesting then i will need to go check the book on amazon okay so this very book share your girl for seniors over 70 all you need to do is just since it is paperback you see this view on amazon click view on amazon then you now select the marketplace you want to view it okay when you click view on amazon it's going to display the marketplace so you should choose one of the marketplace this is japan canada uh, canada and all of the marketplaces don't forget your primary marketplace is usd so you want to select the us marketplace so it's going to open and why am i doing this i want to check the pages all right so that's it i want to check the pages and you can see all my books are selling and these are 2023 books in fact of recent so you can see and you can see the beautiful cover so let's go ahead i'm not teaching you much about book publishing i'm just showing you what you need to understand about the update all right so um this is the book where is it 43 pages okay so this book is 43 pages all right so i'll go back and let me quickly show you something before i forgot let me open this book again i've always been emphasizing on series this book is in wellness series and all my books in religion series all the books i have in religion niche they are in one series all of them are selling because they're in series as you can see this one too is selling because there's no way you will go to the first book in that series by the same author and if you find the book very interesting and informative enough you want to come back to check other books by the author by the same author so don't forget always add the books to series if you do not know how to create books for series go to my youtube channel on that playlist check amazon kdp mastery look for the books on how to add your books to series i explained everything comprehensively there all right you know whenever i'm doing my own kind of teaching i love going in depth making you understand everything and at the same time bringing it live into practicals so that's about that now 43 pages i'll just come back here i'll go back to that calculator page count it's 43 pages and the price seven seven point nine nine that's the price for the book if you want to confirm it then that's the price for the book 7.99 usd then i will submit can you see done so now scroll down this book the list price the list price 7.99 automatically with the conversion it is 6.6 and 6.23 that is 6.23 in the uk marketplace in the german marketplace it is 7.31 in the france marketplace it is 7.31 spanish marketplace 7.31 and that is how you know that is the automatic conversion mm? now that is for list price that is since your book is 7.99 it automatically converted everything in other marketplaces that is done by amazon you know now the royalty rate this is where you're getting it wrong this is why you do not understand why you will publish a book at 7.99 and when someone purchased because most times some of these books some of these sales do come from paperback but we are not earning enough because we don't know that the royalty rate it is 60 percent that is let's say 40 percent belongs to amazon all right now from that 60 percent because 40 percent they are able to sell your book you are selling your books through amazon kdp through amazon platform all right so definitely it is a deal 60 percent belongs to you all right if you're publishing kindle you either choose between 35 percent or 70 percent which you're going for the 70 percent leaving the 30 percent for amazon but paperback 60 percent belongs to you this is only from paperback are you getting my point now 60 percent belongs to you don't forget all of these does not include expanded distribution as i'll be explaining that in the gfa so 60 percent royalty rate belongs to you now minimum list price of course minimum list price tells you that this is the this minimum list price covers the printing cost in that marketplace for instance the new printing cost now is 2.30 initially it was 
but now 2.30 which will be effective from june 28th like i said the minimum printing cost is 2.8 the printing cost for that marketplace is 2.30 so that means 3.83 being the minimum list price that is the minimum amount you can price your book should be three point that is you can give it a lesser price because deducting money for deducting the two point three zero would be, would be a very big issue i i even in fact it won't even go through because right there you will see the minimum list price there so that is the limit the minimum list price you can give your book so imagine you're only a kind of book update if since the minimum list price is three point and Amazon knows that their bone printing cost is just 2.30. No wala. They think just give you like 4.00. So at the end of the day, you'll be earning something like 0.01 or you won't even have a good you know amount. So that's why you need to do it manually. Update your book price manually. Do you get my point now? So minimum list price is 3.83. That means you're setting your books above this price. In fact, way above this price. So the printing cost is 2.30. This is what Amazon is charging now. This is the new printing cost now. All right. The new printing cost now for paperback. If you want to check for ad cover, just do the same thing. Now, estimated royalty, that means I'm earning $2.49 after deducting all of those things. Imagine from 7.99 at the end of the day, I'm earning 2.49 dollars. That is the exact amount you'll be earning. This is if your sales is coming from marketplace, all right? From Amazon.com, Amazon.uk, whatever. If it is the UK marketplace, you're earning 1.81. Imagine from 7.99. New why the 7.99 here is actually converted as 2 6.23. So now this thing is let's say I published a book on trend. Now you know trend has to do with marketplace. You know, trend while publishing trend, you want to specify on the kind of marketplace that particular book is trending or that particular story is trending or that information is trending. The uh the trend on on the UK princess. Okay, which is the prince, uh, or the princess, uh, sorry, Queen Elizabeth three or two, and the son, Prince. You know that that story is actually coming from UK. So, which means if I'm publishing my book, my primary marketplace will be UK, and I'm setting my book in UK price, which is pound. Do you get? And UK price is way the conversion is way higher than all of this. So most times, if you're earning, you see, that is why I see valid reason why some guys will always use a GBP account, that is, a pound account, a UK account. Instead of using the USD account, they will they will they will connect their pound account, the GBP account, to the Amazon KDP, because the conversion is way crazier than USD. Are you getting my point now? On GP, uh, the conversion is about 8.79 USD per one. Uh, yeah, 8.79 naira. You're from Nigeria. 8.79 naira per one GBP. Meanwhile, when it comes to dollar, I think because I checked this money before I recorded this video, it's about uh 740 something. If one USD. It's equivalent to 740 something naira. So imagine, so that was why a lot of guys prefer creating a GBP account. I think Payday should offer you that, Gray should offer you that. But I think in the case of GP, that is GetP, however you pronounce yours, GetP or GP, people, I think GBP account and Euro account on that platform does not support wire transfer. And I think if you want to use an account, such an account, any account on Amazon, it should support wire transfer. Because I think that's what Amazon does. The same money to review wire transfer. So if it does not support, then I don't know. If anyone has used GetPay, 
GDP account to receive payment from Amazon, please comment right below this video. Okay, so that's about that. But I think Payday provides that, and Gray and some other platforms. So let's go ahead. I think you now understand what printing cost is. So at the end of the day, you're earning 2.49. So can you see it, it, it doesn't make sense? So why should you set your paper back at 7.99? If at the end of the day you'll be any 2.49 paper back will be say because this 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 payment this royalty is now equivalent to the king do because if king do with your 70 percent you still a chop like two point something if you set your book to 2.99 it won't still leave that range of two but meanwhile paper back of eh can you imagine paper back at 7.99 and you're any 2.49 it doesn't make sense so that is it. If you go to your calculator now, say your book is 7.99 multiplied by 60%. This is where the number one problem comes from. You're earning 60% directly. You're earning 60%. Now, equals to 4.79 minus the new printing cost now, which is 2.30. Initially, it was 2.30. One for uh, one five, but now it is two point three zero. This is just for US marketplace. So two point zero uh, three zero, you're earning two point four nine. So can you see the same thing we have here? So the calculator has estimated uh, has given you your royalty, and the same thing if you don't understand, that's the same thing I just did now. Two point nine, two point four nine, truncate the four behind it, it's still the same thing. So it doesn't make sense. So that's why you need to increase. You need to go to your dashboard right now, manually increase your price. Okay. Now I said something about um um expanded distribution. So we are done with this. We'll just go ahead now to our page and do our price increment. Okay. So let me just quickly explain expanded distribution to those who do not understand this. I won't be reading all of this. You can go through this yourself. So I'll just go right here. I want to show you um, in expanded distribution. This is the problem. This is the only thing you have here. Now, expanded distribution report and payment. Okay. Uh, 60 days after the end of the month, which are distributed report their sales. Now, one thing about expanded distribution is that expanded distribution, if your book see if you enroll your book now royalties if you enroll your paperback in expanded distribution the royalty rate is 40 percent of the book's list price this one is even the worst but not to worry it is still nice to to leave your book at expand to always check the expanded distribution because it helps you to make some sales as well that is if sales does not come if sales do not come from from the normal amazon.com or from any of your marketplaces i think it's only for amazon.com and .co.uk so if sales is not called maybe no customer actually searches your book no no customer perform any kind of seo no search no thing you do not make any seo from expanded distribution from different authors you know getting your book in their bookshelf to sell your book and bring reports back to amazon you can make sales from there it's just like you setting your kindle to kdp select kdp select gives you 90 days to sell your book amazon helps you market your book they are the kdp select and that's why a lot of customers they always want to make you know they want to take an advantage of kdp select so that they can read your book and you know just earn you a few bucks which doesn't make sense so that most times but currently, I stopped including a book to KDP Select because once you know that this book, oh wow, if the cover is nice, the description is persuasive enough, stuff like that, and you know, instead of you trying to read my book so that I can earn some some few books via the KN periods, you will, you'll be convinced to purchase that book. That is why short books are not advisable to be listed under the KDP Select features because you won't enjoy it. But KDP Select is just to encourage beginners. Oh, wow. Ah, ah, ah my book has been reading. My book has been reading. I've been seeing a few books. 
0.00 dollars <laughs> where that one is encouraging um encouraging the beginners though so that's why they do advise beginners someone like me i'm never including my book in kdp select if you see my book you should buy my book don't read the pages again just buy that's what i want from you people so that's about that now talking about expanded distribution this one is 40 percent this one is 40 percent that is 40 percent and no uh, time of purchase minus now if you enroll your book this is where it gets interesting if you enroll your paperback in the spanish distribution the royalty rate is 40 percent so let's type that one if my book now is 7.99 multiplied by 40 percent that is your your own is 40 percent the normal one the normal royalty rate is 60 percent but if you do not make sales via that channel i may be probably sales actually came from expanding distribution that is other authors other online platforms other you know other channels they are they will actually get your book from amazon of course they will they, they, they will get your book so let's say uh you you know let's bring let's bring it back to our local means let's say you have a book on how to on how to on uh the normal way for christians you know to be holy or let us say holiness and whatever and your and this particular um book shelf or you know most of these guys are just stationary their own stationary shops so they will just want to okay let's make a deal let's get your book now 40 percent belongs to you so that means between them and amazon and them sabi and they do the remaining 60 percent okay so that's how it is so you're earning 40 percent so if those guys that bought your book and listed it they listed your book in the stationaries in the marketplaces and sales you know sales is optional amazon will not guarantee you sales from them are you getting the point now so it's more like you know playing a risk but it is still better to include your book in expanded distribution should the case you do not make sale from these sales will come from expanded distribution from other channels reselling your book and giving amazon report are you getting the scope now that is why they do advise beginners include your book in kdp select so that if your book do not sell if nobody purchases your book you may have some knp reads which will earn you a few bucks that is it so 7.99 and 40 percent from expanded distribution you are earning that means everything that comes to you is 3.19 it doesn't end there let's go back now after your 3.19 you will now that is after your 40 percent after your 40 percent you can see your 40 percent here and you can see 40 percent there after your 40 percent you see after your 40 percent they will now minus your printing cost meanwhile printing cost is now 2.30 minus 2.30 equals to what 0.896 <laughs> go back 0.896 not only printing cost they will deduct that is minus can you see the minus from your 40 percent minus your printing cost minus applicable taxes and withholding these two i think it's uh yeah they are the same they are together which is the 30 percent tax that the u.s government will charge you that is why if you create a kdp account and you've not removed the 30 percent tax rush down to my youtube now i mean scroll to my youtube channel now navigate through go to the amazon kdp mastery section under the playlist you will go to the amazon kdp mastery playlist watch the video on how to remove your 30 percent tax remove it from your kdp account so imagine if you have not removed it and you still have you know and sales came through the uh, the distribution or uh, you know uh, the expanded distribution channel and amazon will remove the printing cost and the 30 percent do you even know the 30 percent do you know how much you're paying if you are taking out 30 percent from this minus that is multiplied by okay let's minus another 30 percent how much can remain for your hand how much are you now earning 0. 0. point not even up to a point not even up to one point so have you seen the downside of 
sales coming from expanded distribution and also downside of sales uh, downside of you earning without removing the 30 percent of your kdp account and all of that so that's why you want to you see regardless of where the sales are coming from make sure you have a, a in fact increase the price of your book to a suitable price so before setting price for your book after going through the niche market you want to see the minimum the maximum trust me all of them say they are making changes to the prices now because you can see a paperback book of about 23 dollars now 15 dollars now 12 13 dollars just make sure you don't fall between the minimum in that niche okay don't go suffocate yourself you don't want to do go through all of this trades and at the end of the day you're earning this little amount of money okay because paperback should earn you more money than the kindle version of a book likewise hardcover should earn you even more than the paperback so you need to understand your pricing very well before setting any uh, prices you know before pricing your book based on emotion or based on what you saw on the no that's why you're watching this video now so that you can make changes you are now informed initially you may not be informed but now you are informed so i think we're done with this so i'll just close this and i will just uh should i okay yeah i'm good to go so i'll just close that and what i want to do to this very book now is i will just you know i will make changes to this book and for you to do that come to this under the paperback action okay you clip these three dots which is the ellipse clip this edit book pricing okay so i want to edit the book pricing yeah they will tell you if your book was published before amazon uh before amazon updated the category issues to three categories maximum then you may come across this so we'll do this later okay okay just go back and set that just go back to correct that and i think this is gonna be kind of an added advantage to this video i never planned on doing this but this could be an added advantage to you if you'll be watching this video right now so um the category is update so i need to do an update to this category choose up to three categories that describe your book okay you must select your primary marketplace and audience first good so i'll just go to choose category so let me add categories okay i want to update this category now i'll come to select category and that book um before i do that i will go back to the original book that i modeled because i don't just write books I make sure that I'm modeling a selling book. Share yoga for seniors. Uh, we open a tab here. Okay, let me just open this tab and let me search for that book here. Share yoga for seniors. Okay, so this is the book I'm actually modeling. So I want to go to the five star reviews. I want to go to the five star reviews, and I think, okay, we're doing that. I still have number one here so which is so that means this is selling or uh, this is the best book in this category in this niche whatever so i'll just scroll down all i need is just to check the categories right so this is it so now is the bsr and this is these are the categories injuries and rehabilitation because i want my book to be in the same category with the bestseller book so i'll just do this i want to okay i'll just open this i will click on the first one injuries so i want to see where injuries falls under okay injuries under health fitness and dieting then i will go to injuries and rehabilitation i'll come back to my book i will scroll down now i want to fix the category issues okay so i'll just do this and i didn't even plan doing this but i think it's going to help you as well you see the interface has changed because i published this book even before amazon updated the category section so it said under health fitness and dieting now select a subcategory the second one um okay let me go back to check let me go back and check down health fitness 
exercise and fitness that is the subcategory exercise and fitness you can see that here now i will now come to this side injuries and rehabilitation i've checked that can you see so i'll go back again i'll go back then i'll check the second one which is number six in yoga health fitness okay it's still the same um i will look for yoga okay this is yoga all right i'll go back again i'll go back to check the third one okay this one is under you see health fitness and dieting under disease and physical ailment so I'll go back is not under this place it is under the subcategory of disease and ailment okay 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 i want to okay add another category i've added two so i want to add another category you know we only we added two in that first category so i want to add another category now to make it three so health fitness and this one is under um diseases and physical ailment okay so disease and physical ailment what is that under disease and physical ailment physical impairment can you see it's bold here yeah? it's alerted physical impairment you can actually confirm it here so i just if it's not i think this one is like another section or oh, other subcategories but no just come here you will see what you're looking for here yeah? physical impairment if it's under those subcategories you will still see it in that book so let's look for physical impairment okay i've seen it here so can you see now after doing all of this you will not find this ad category section or uh, this box you see the box is now faded all right you see that if i remove this because it's not up to three the boss is still clickable can you see so but once you added the third one and that's all you just click save category yes continue so guys you see i've added my books in the same categories with the best selling books in that niche that's the same thing you want to do I will save and continue so you don't write books based on how you feel or based on where you you must write you must model a book that is selling that's why most of you write books on amazon you probably will keep on you know you kept complaining of not making sales go and check what you're doing wrong my brother and sister okay so you see now you're going to see this you see before that day as you can see everything i've explained to you we are seeing them right away okay so you can see them here so let's say i want to do my calculation now i don't even need to use any calculator again you will see what you're earning directly okay just calculating everything is to know how to multiply the 60 percent all of that which i've explained i've used calculator i've used the kdp calculator and i've also used the normal calculator so let's say i'm taking this book to um let's see i'm taking this book to 12.99 12 is okay 12.99 so checking cost factors all right can you see this now after june 28 the printing because i'm not even working with this old printing cost again all right i'm working with the new printing cost now because for now like i said today is 18th of june so we, so I'm, I'm i'm still having the old one of course if i make any sale between now and tomorrow amazon will charge me 2.15 dollars because but this change will be effective starting from june 28th so that means 2.30 will be the new printing cost they'll be charging me so i need to press my book based on this 2.30 okay so that is that and don't forget 12.99 what i'm earning here is 60 percent don't forget expanded distribution can you see if expanded distribution here you know like i said it's 40 percent and you're earning 3.05 for <laughs> so you see if they purchase your book now that is 12.99 right 
Now let me quickly do this. 12.99 multiplied by 40%. Can you see? From 12.99 via the expanded distribution distribution channel, you're earning 5.1 this thing. Now minus printing cost now current one. Or let me take it to 2.30, which is the the one that will be current now because just to this from now equals to 2.86. Can you imagine? Now I've deducted the printing cost. I'm earning 2.86 which is what we're having as 2.90 here. This one is for the old printing cost. Now, 2.90 is the new printing cost. So, do you see that it will not pay you, but at least it's something. But it doesn't end there. They will remove the um, the, the KDP, this thing, and the 30% tax on your account. They will remove that and a whole lot of things so you need to be very very careful so after everything you're earning two point something imagine for 12.99 dollars as you can see the one of 7.99 dollars for zero point something zero so but if sales is coming from amazon and not from expanded distribution and you see you may want to uncheck this all right if you want your sales to be coming directly on amazon you may want to uncheck expanded distribution but i'm still leave it there this is paperback. If they can help me market my books and still add it to my reality, good. Okay? It's optional, but good. It's always good to select it. So, that's about that. And the 60%, what I will be earning after this book is being purchased and after the uh, the 2.30 new price, new printing cost, I'm earning 5.49. It makes sense. That's enough. Okay, I can still manage that. I can go with that. So that will be twelve point nine nine multiplied by the uh, multiplied by sixty percent, which is mine. So that means this is my original amount. This is my original money, my original royalty. But deduct the two point three zero five point four nine. It's something. Okay, so I'm cool with that. All right. So that's why we're having five point four nine. So I hope you now understood how all of these things work now you understand how you can do your calculation you understood how everything works on both the kindle version and the paper bag including the ad cover okay so that's how you go about it now that 12.99 is okay for me i love it that way okay what i will just do is scroll down and click publish your paper bag book don't forget this is you know expanded distribution like i said it's only for us and uk marketplace other marketplaces which are not in the english language okay so amazon the d france all of these they do not have the expanded distribution feature because it doesn't support that all right so we're good to go with this and that's how it works i'll just publish my book In fact, within 30 minutes, this book will be updated. The new price will be updated. So that's the same thing you will do to all your paper bags, okay? As you can see, paper bag updates in review, all right? So that's about that. And uh, you may want to, the book I actually modeled, I want to show you something. The book I modeled, you can see, the Kindle version is just 2.99, so that one, it doesn't affect them. So... If you're checking um, the audio book, we have the ad back here. No, okay, the ad cover. Mm, I want to show you something here. I want to show you something here. I want to check the ad cover. I want to check the ad cover. Okay. Okay. Can you see the ad cover? Twenty six point nine nine. Can you see the ad cover? <laughs> paperback. Let's check the paperback price. Eleven point nine nine. So, you see, this author is gonna make a whole lot of gains. Okay, from doing this. So, that is about that. And I hope you now understood everything properly now so this is a plus content can you see 
from the publisher any book you see from the publisher it is a plus content and i've made a comprehensive guide on how you can get on how you can you know design an a plus content book a plus content will help to bring out the beauty of your book interior you see I don't need to talk much about it. Go to the Amazon KDP Mastery under the playlist and watch how you can. In fact, that is the best A plus content video you can find on YouTube right now. So, you want to go to the Amazon KDP Mastery playlist and watch how to make A plus content. Now, I've recommended about three videos now related to Amazon KDP to help you boost sales and to make your book presentable. To your customers okay so that's about that and you're good to go so if you've gained massive value from watching this video kindly subscribe to this channel share this video so that others can gain massive values from doing this and don't forget to like the video ask any questions using the comment section below and stay jiggy